Hey besties. All right, so I'm gonna pronounce it creme. The creme shop and Pusheen had a collab. I love Pusheen products. I, I, I think Pusheen's the cutest kitty ever, aside from Miss Orange right behind me. So I ordered some of the collab. I didn't order everything because I wouldn't use, uh, excuse my allergies, because I wouldn't use everything. Eh. Allergy season's been terrible in my part of the country. Nose has been so runny lately. Face has been so puffy. But anyways, my package arrived today and I decided to unbox it on camera. Alright, so I already ripped off the shipping label because you guys don't need to see that information. The cute little detail is the box literally has Pusheen tape on it. Isn't that so cute? Alright, since this is the top of the box, I'm going to open it from here. Grab a pair of scissors from under my coffee table. Have personal information on it, so that'll be set aside for right now. That does. All right. So I'm gonna flip that upside down to make sure no personal information gets out. All right. So the first item I want to talk about is the teddy headband that I got. It's Pusheen Cat, of course. Um, I like doing a lot of skincare. I got into it recently. And I've been using just a normal headband you get at Target for like a, a dollar. A baller. So I decided to get one of these just to like upgrade the experience. Isn't that so cute? Oh yeah, I decided to wear my Pusheen jammies just to commemorate the event. Um, this is so cute. It's so soft. Let me get you guys a closer look. Isn't that so cute? Look at it. And it's soft, it expands, well of course it does. And you got this on the back, on the front. The top of it is tighter than the bottom part, which makes it fit your head a little bit better. Oh my gosh, it is so comfortable. I was looking on the Creme Shop's website, right? I almost got the Capybara one too. Pictures. I think that's so cute. I think when I have a little bit more money, I'm going to order the Capybara one as well. And this right here is the limited edition Strawberry Daydream Eyeshadow Palette. I almost got the brushes as well. But the thing is, is I already have eyeshadow brushes. And as cute as they are, like, let's be real, I don't need two sets of eyeshadow brushes. So here's what the inside of the palette looks like. It is cardboard, but it's weighty. And it closes with a magnet. Has the cutest mirror on top. You can see my film setup. And you can watch that I was watching DIY with KB in the background before I started filming. I've gotten smart and I've started pausing the videos before I start filming. Alright. We're going to be doing ourselves a little swatch test as soon as I get all the adhesive off. as um opaque as I would prefer but I'm not complaining oh ooh, 
snack time that bronze shade i love how it feels on my finger the way it appeared on my skin that metallic shade looks fantastic we're coming in with cozy okay so what i'm noticing is the matte shades aren't the world's most opaque but they are buildable which I'm not complaining about. I prefer mine to be buildable. I prefer going for like a softer look. And sometimes really thick, dark colors just do not. Oh, I am obsessed. What's this color? Curious Cat. It's the one down here on the bottom. I am obsessed with that color. Um, I'm gonna figure out how to use it because that's not a color I'd normally wear, but I am obsessed with it. Can I get these off my fingers before I go and re-swatch? Alright, now we're coming in with the middle brown loaf. Middle brown loaf. The middle brown color called loaf. Okay. Ooh. So strawberry tart is like a metallic but not glittery. Ooh. Snackies. Uh, it's so pale. I'm so pale, you can hardly see it. Marshmallow. I'm not absolutely blown away by that metallic shit. Ooh. But it's buildable. I'll take that. Let me try snackies again. Yeah, yeah. I'm finding it. And then creme. Okay. It's buildable. I'm finding it. Here's all the colors swatched. I'm going to get in a little bit closer so you can see that. That's what they all look like swatched. Um, I'm absolutely obsessed with this color right here. Um, Curious Cat. Obsessed with it. I think it's beautiful. I actually really like this entire color story that's going on. I'm actually really excited to start using this palette in my normal routine. I normally use, like, an Ulta Beauty palette. Uh, I used to use this, um... <laughs> A Too Faced Born This Way palette. I used to. I prefer neutrals. Ah. <laughs> 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 uh, excuse me. I prefer neutrals, but I think really incorporating these reds and pinks is going to be so much fun. I think this is actually going to be a wonderful palette for fall. So I'm going to try to wipe that off as much as I can before I put my sleeve down. Okay. okay. It might cause some staining. Whatever. Reds tend to do that. No, for the baggie, it is the Macaroon Lip Balm, in the packaging upside down. Alright, so the reason why this video is a little weird is, um, I have my outer camera facing me, so I don't have my viewfinder. So if it comes out weird, that's why. I'm not looking at a viewfinder right now. Alright, so it's a light plastic. So cute. Oh, it smells like strawberries. And it's not like that fakey strawberry smell. No, that smells like strawberry ice cream. That smell is fantastic. And then after that, the last two items in this haul would be the two lip oils that came with the collaboration. 
they are so cute. I've been really obsessed with like using lip oils lately. Except all the ones that I have currently are clear. So these ones with a little bit of color. Oh, it's so cute. It is so cute. A little strawberry on the back. So strawberry. Ooh, big applicator. Mmm, smells good. Okay. It's very sheer, which is what I like to see in a lip oil. I haven't really been wearing full coverage lip products lately. It just hasn't been the vibe. Maybe when fall comes around. But right now, mm, it really hasn't been my vibe. And then I got this pretty darker one. They both have cute little strawberries. And then Pusheen herself. They smell very similar. Wasn't paying enough attention to tell you they smell the same. All right, so we're talking very light coverage, but for a lip oil, that's what you expect. Um, I wouldn't call it a sticky formula. I mean, if you're patting it, it's gonna be sticky, but like, yeah, no shit. But applying it, it didn't feel sticky. It smells good. Wipes off easily. Now, I ordered mine from the Pusheen shop, not the Creme shop's online store. And I think... That is all in today's little haul. Yep, that is it. The little headband I'm wearing, the little eyeshadow palette, the two lip oils, and the lip balm. Those would be the items that I ordered because these are the only items that I really get frequent use out of. So yeah, I'm actually very excited to use these products. If I felt like dealing with the jet engine that is my bathroom fan, I would totally do like a little try on, but uh, I don't feel like editing that noise, so uh, you guys will see, you guys will, you guys will see, yeah, you guys will see whenever I get around to it and deal like feeling with, and deal like feeling with the and feel like dealing with the jet engine that is my bathroom fan. Wow, that did not want to come out. Anyways, with all of that said, I will be catching you guys in the next one. Cheers. <clears throat> what do you think? <laughs>